My name is Patricia Fernandez West. I'm a professional motorcycle racer. I ride for Solomon Harley Davidson in the King of the Bagger class on a Rogue Eye Limited and the Super Hooligan class on a Harley Pan America. I was a professional sport bike racer for about seven, eight years before I got my first chance to ride a bagger. First time I ever rode a bagger was actually on a racetrack with Saddleman. Bagger racing is just completely different than any other kind of racing most of us have done. I'm the only female that's ever competed in any bagger race, which is pretty cool. So thankful to Saddleman for giving me that opportunity. Once you put those helmets on, you're all equal. It doesn't matter if you're a boy or a girl, it doesn't matter if you're American or British, it doesn't matter if you're rich or poor, none of it matters. Once you put the helmet on, you're all equal. I don't get extra time for qualifying or any extra privileges. I have to prove myself on the same level that the men do. So they're gonna bump me, they're gonna pass me, and I'm gonna do it right back. It's, it's just racing, it is what it is. I think it's one of the only sports that really emphasizes equality. Solomon has four riders now, which is pretty cool. Uh, one of my teammates and competitors is my husband. He won't treat me any differently than he would any other guy. And he knows that. I'm the type of female where if he can pass me, he better pass me. I would never want him to take it easy on me. But whether or not he does better, I do better, like we just really support each other and we're always proud of each other. You know, I try not to think that she's out there, but as soon as a red flag flies, the first thing I'm wondering is like, where's Patricia? That's the person I care the most about and I gotta worry about her now. And then, but then the green flag's about to fly and I have to not worry about her and go back to doing the business. So that's the only downside I think is having, having a significant other out there that you care so much about. And this is a dangerous sport and if something happens, you know, it, it can be kind of gnarly. We're teammates on and off the racetrack, that's all that matters. For the most part, we're living a pretty awesome life and sharing some cool experiences together, so it's been really rad. Uh, the Indians were cool, but I'm, I'm really stoked about this Harley year. It's, it's been really good so far. Everyone thinks a bagger is a bagger, and that's absolutely not true. You know, one manufacturer to another, they're completely different. They handle different, they weigh different, they respond different, they shift different. Everything about them is different. I know that throughout the year, we're gonna be progressing significantly more and more and more as myself and the other riders learn the bikes. Where I know a lot of the riders where they're at now, that's as far as they're gonna go because they've been on the same bike for multiple years like we were. And so they're just kind of plateaued where I know that we're gonna significantly increase throughout the year and our progress and our speed and how we get comfortable on these bikes. So although I feel we were behind at the beginning of the year, we're definitely gonna be way ahead by the end of the year. The finish, two fourths on the bagger and come out of Daytona third place in the championship points, you know, that's, that's pretty good. So um, all I need is a little more time with my bike and, and really start to understand how it works. And I think there's a shot of getting on the box this year in that class. So as long as we can stay consistent and we keep moving in the right direction, I mean, the guys are learning all the time and we've got a really good program. So sky's the limit, you know, I'm, I'm excited about it. You know, riders don't win races, riders don't win championships, teams do. And we have such an incredible team. The camaraderie that here at Saddleman is like nothing I've ever been with. Like everybody's happy, everyone's working hard, everyone enjoys it. It, it really is just such an amazing experience. It makes it easier as a rider. I'm so incredibly grateful for all the guys that are turning wrenches, you know, with grease on their hand and sweat on their brows. Like those guys are busting their butts. So as a racer, you see how hard they're working and it makes you want to work harder. You know, our team owner, Dave's there at all the races. He's always involved, like he loves racing, you know? So it's just really cool to be a part of a team from all the way up to the very top, all the way down, everybody really enjoying it. And that's something that I know myself and Corey have said we've never experienced before. First and foremost, I got to thank Dave at Salomon for giving us this opportunity, you know? like. I'm super stoked to have those guys support and uh, everyone that stepped on board to, to make all of this happen has just been really awesome and, and I look forward to seeing where all this bagger racing goes. <laughs> <laughs>